My last day of work was March 13th. But for Shannon O'Hara from Throg's Neck, a tailor to the stars who works in New York City's Garment Center, and here in her home studio, this would not be the end, but a whole new beginning. Within days, we developed Skilled Laborers Brigade. Together with Rachel Kibbe and Ann Keating, they brought in a group of volunteers that so far have produced 20,000 masks. I realized immediately when I heard, you know, the governor's call out for people to make PPEs, uh, that this was one skill that I had that, that and all my friends that are garment makers have, and that we were able to rise to the to the challenge. That challenge included working with businesses no longer operating due to COVID-19, but now as PPE manufacturers, Park Avenue International, owned by Alexander DeBach, were able to mass produce her designs necessary to prevent the spread of the virus. A factory has, you know, a cutting machine that can cut about 5,000 masks in one day. And um, we have 19 of those at our disposal. With the state now considering Skilled Laborers Brigade as a supplier, this all will prove highly useful in the battle to protect New Yorkers from testing positive. We still have a great need here. You know, I, I've talked to different uh, administrators at hospitals and administrators at group homes and vulnerable populations that still have a high need, especially for masks and gowns. So right now, many of these masks are being donated, but if you'd like to find out more information, you can go to skilledlaborsbrigade.com. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.